welcome to Gen Con vlog. Um, I don't know why I'm recording because I don't think there's really anything to see, but hello, we're in the hotel room at Gen Con right now. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm going to kind of be taking you guys through the whole weekend. We'll see. I might get shy filming in front of people. I probably won't do it. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. You probably won't even see this footage. And if you do, that's cool. Sure, whatever. Um, yeah. So this is our view out the, out the window. It's very pretty. We've got lights. There's some people down there. Hello. Hi. How are you? There's people. I don't like some of those. Anyway, um, all of those. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm kind of like, I don't know if any of you know this about me, but I'm kind of like incapacitated at the moment. I've had like vertigo for mm, 11 months now, maybe a little bit less. And so I'm kind of just trying this to see if this is something I can do in the future. I don't, I don't know if that's a possibility for me, but I just wanted to test it. And if it happens to work out, that's great. If not, you might just get like a hotel vlog. I don't know. We'll see. That's, it's exciting, isn't it? It's not exciting. Anyway, bye. Also, my hair is blue. That's a new development. Actually, it kind of doesn't look blue in this light. It looks more green. Also, I washed it recently. So apparently color fades when you wash it. Who knew? Um, use cold water, kids. Apparently, it's better for you as well. So you might as well. I'm so tired. So I'm back in the room. Uh, it's like four o'clock ish, uh, day one. I didn't really film anything because despite there being like not a lot of people here. Um, there's a lot of children around. I kind of felt awkward like recording when there's like minors who don't have the authority to grant permission to be on camera, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, I'm back in the room now. I have just been really dizzy. So I decided just to come back. Um, I was out for a while. We, I think, left the room around like 9.30ish and the exhibit hall opened at 10. It was nowhere near as busy as it usually is, which was kind of crazy because I'm used to like being packed in like sardines whenever we're in the hall and you're like pushing and shoving just try, just like to try to look at something. But this time, no. It's, it was actually like really easy to stop and look something. There was actually time for people at the actual stands to like reach out and like they'll read your badge because it will have your name on it and it will say like, oh, hey, what's up? I see you're at my booth. Like, hey girl. So that was nice, I guess. You got a little bit more like face-to-face -face time if you were interested in a game or you just like wanted to chat about their product and like, hey, they had a website, so on and so forth. So that was, that was nice. Also, I just started feeling like really um, guilty for being here because I know we're not through this pandemic and just like wandering through crowds has not eased that, not necessarily guilt, but there is guilt, but also just like panic. And so um, it's weird. This is like my first time being thrown back out into reality after like two years. So. I don't know, it was strange to be around more than a few people. <sighs> I wanted to take this time to show you guys the bathroom, which is unbelievable. Um, we have someone in our group who needs a handicapped room, so we got a handicapped room. This bathroom is like bigger than my bedroom as a child. Like this is huge. Um, also, my hair is just like slowly disintegrating into madness. Look at this. It's like floofing. I don't know if it's just like not used to the humidity or whatever. I, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. 
Goes to the player whose side of the research track it's on. Put on the books under your card. So I thought it was cool while I was out. Someone saw me wearing my Orphan Maker Yasha shirt from Critical Role because I love Critical Role, and they gave me this cool ribbon. It says um, "Official Crew Member of the Ball Eater," which is the ship that they like steal and rename. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so far people have been really nice and that's crazy. Who knew? Humanity. So it's a little later and just got out of the shower. Um, but I also wanted to come on and say that today was release day for uh, Big Night In. Uh, it's the first song off of a upcoming project that I'm releasing soon. Um, so it was kind of fun. Like, I didn't really think about it. I feel like usually when I put out a song, I'm kind of just like anxiously waiting uh, and people will like text me or DM me or whatever. And um, I'll read comments and stuff and just like literally be glued to social media. But I kind of enjoyed it this time because I had stuff to do. I wasn't gonna waste like a day of my entire Gen Con experience just like, waiting for the song to drop and people's reactions um so yeah it was really nice but if you downloaded the song thank you so much i really appreciate it i've actually heard from a couple of you that you really liked it and that was really cool um so thanks a lot if you are watching this now and have not heard this um i have a song out it's called big night in it's out on all streaming platforms right now you can go download it save it to your playlists, whatever. Um, yeah, and there should be a lyric video potentially by the time this video comes out. I don't know, I really don't know. It might be um, after this video or it might be like before this video, unsure. like I'm, I only record from the hotel room so I'm sorry about that um just come in to check in we got up at like 10 we were out the door by 10 for day three of Gen Con which is Saturday um and yeah it's been super fun I I kind of fell because of my vertigo so now I'm just like chilling in the hotel room. It kind of sucks, it's only noon. So I kind of feel like that's kind of wasted a day, but like I I need to rest. Like I, I don't know if I like overworked myself or whatever, but like my vertigo is just super bad right now, especially after I fell. And um, basically I'm just coming on to say that uh, stairs are the devil and uh, why they take the escalators out. That's all I want to know. <laughs> okay. Hello. So, it's official. I'm the worst vlogger ever. I didn't record a lot, apparently, for Gen Con. But I am home now. Uh, it is Monday, the next day. And, yeah, pretty much on Sunday, we just kind of... Um, explored the hall a little bit. We ate, went and ate at like my favorite restaurant ever, which is called Yard House. It was so good. If you're getting like anything, make sure you get it with the maple Dijon mustard, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, it was a really good year. I had a lot of fun and um, hopefully I'll get to do it next year. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be part of this video. It might, so you might see it in the next clip, but if not, um, I think I am planning on doing a haul video for everything that I picked up at Gen Con this year. Um, if not, stay tuned. It will probably be the next video after this one. So 
Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. I would also appreciate that. And yeah, you can follow me on social media at CL Blue Official on literally everything in the world. And I have a song out right now. It's called Big Night In. It came out last week as I'm recording this. And um, we, I've had like great responses. So I really appreciate it. So I'm saying so a lot. Cool. Who's your friend? In the glasses, I mean, nugging everyone who walks past him. What's his deal?